Hi, everybody. This is Angie from the Renaissance Club Sport. And on behalf of the Club Sport and Formula 3 family, I'd like to welcome you to Cardio Sculpt. We'll be doing a 50 to 55 minute workout today, including uh, work with weights, as well as if you have a bench or a chair or a step nearby that is handy, we'll be using those as well. If you don't have it though, don't worry. I will certainly provide plenty of ways to do our exercises without all this equipment. Um, I do work out with some music on in the background. Um, it's not super loud though, so if you do enjoy working out with music, I encourage you to put it on for yourself. Um, let's get started. Let's have a good workout here. I'm going to go ahead and start my music. Start your fitness trackers, everything, all your uh, data that you can collect. Although I can certainly attest that you'll get sweaty and you're going to work hard today. So we're going to start with some squat and reaches. You're going to going to squat down and as you stand up, you're going to reach those elbows behind you. So squat, reach forward, and then stand and squeeze. Squat, reach forward, and stand and squeeze. You guys keep going with this. I'm going to adjust my camera. Get myself a tiny bit higher. I'm not that tall, but there we go. Squat. Very good. Four. Three. I'm sideways. Getting used to new technology, new tripod today. Two. Last one. Go side to side. Tap. Yeah, right here. We are doing lateral work today. So as you come back, can you keep your chest extended towards me? Take your hands, reach in side to side on the inside of that foot. Reach it out. Here we go. Four more each side. Get your hips, get your adductors warmed up. So really shift your hips back if you can. Three, two. Now you're going to just stand tall. Pull one foot up at a time. Rotate your ankle in a couple for a couple of rotations and then do the same thing on the other side. Drive that knee up into your chest and think about that standing hip straightening out and then backs of the legs warming up for four. Good, you just wanna think about your calf, your ankles. I'm wearing shoes today. We are doing a little bit of jumping today. Of course, I'll always provide modifications. You know I'm not a huge fan of a ton of jumping, but I built the class a little different. Last one here. Take yourself into a forward kind of a runner's type lunge. So forward lunge, keep that back leg semi straight. So what I did is I built blocks of work today that are strength based. So we'll work our major muscle groups, body weight or weight if you have it. And then every cardio burst that we're gonna do is gonna be in every minute on the minute where we're gonna do some sort of cardio move, all body weight, and we're gonna end in a plank, so a lot of plank work today. And so that'll get our heart rate up and then we'll go back to our strength work. I think you'll find your heart rate will stay up for most of the class. Do two more here. Good, and let's go back to the top, squat and reach. Squat and reach right here. Second time through, get a little bit lower. And then squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top. So squeeze and up, good. Four, we don't wanna be breathless yet. We just wanna get Body temperatures, elevated, blood moving into those joints. Last one, go side to side, reach. And think about anytime you warm up, you're working in all planes of motion, right? You're going forward and back. You're going side to side. We're gonna do some twisting as well. So reach with that extended chest and reach. Four more, four, three, two, Stand it up. Give me those ankles. Ankle little twists and turns here. Ah. You, ever, you guys ever just walk downstairs in the morning and hear those ankles waking up? Sometimes I wake up my whole family. Get those knees up. Good, all the way up here. Hit the backs of that leg. Really stretch it out. Last one each side. We're gonna do that forward lunge again. I can't look at you when I do some of that because I'll lose my balance. All right, forward lunge. So I am kind of bending my back knee, but I'm not concentrating on a true lunge as much as I'm concentrating on these on this hip. So I want that leg to kind of extend, a hip to extend right here. You can sweep and add that little twist when we're talking about planes of motion. Right here for four. Good, three more. We're doing each side is one. Reach that chest over. Last two. 
Last one here. Good, shake it out guys. Our first block of work, like I said, we're gonna go back and forth between strength and cardio. So a little different than I've built it in weeks past. You wanna grab a pair of weights, I'll demonstrate the move. We're gonna do lateral lunge. We're gonna row for two, we're gonna stand up and do a bicep curl. Okay, that's our move. So this might be a little light, but you gotta have something that you can do some bicep curls with. So grab that right weight. Stand up tall. Let's work one side, and I'll show you how we'll fit in that other side. So you want to make sure you're standing nice and tall. Take yourself into a lateral lunge. Now chest is a little extended, but you're really pushed back over that, over that heel. Give me two rows. Stand up, two curls right here. So shift. So even if you have a lighter set of weights on hand or you're working with a band, this still works. You got your back, you got your biceps right here. Come all the way over there, really shift so that this leg is nice and free. All the weight's going onto that bent knee right there and bicep. Keep going here. So because we're doing this kind of compound dynamic motion here, our reach should go up anyways. But we want to make sure we're doing good form. Two rows. So when I shift over into that lateral lunge, all my weight goes over. I get to use my inner thighs for support and power. Okay, we're gonna do one more, and I'll show you what's next. Good, last one here. Two rows and two curls. The weights are gonna go to the side. We will get to the other side, I promise. You're gonna come down. Let me show you this move here. We did a version of this a couple weeks ago. We're working our quads on here. So knees are gonna come down. If you're outside, you can kind of gather your, um, your mat so that it provides you the knee support. So you're gonna have arms out, arms to your side. We're gonna do a shift. And we're gonna come forward, use our thighs. I want us to do 10, because we're gonna do this a lot. So give me a set of 10, all the way back, all the way forward. Trust yourself, because what happens, if it's too far, and you can just sit down, but this is all quad, all quad right here. Abs are tight, butt's tight as well, so everything comes back at an angle and up. That's five. Let's do five more. This should be fairly challenging, and I think originally I said we were going to do 15 in my plan, and I added up how many times we were doing this, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to hate me. So we're going to do two more after this, because we're going to do this after each one of those sets of lateral lunges. Go ahead, come on up. We have more of those, don't worry. The whole point right today, burn those quads out, guys. So pick up those weights again. Shake out the legs. We haven't even hit cardio yet. Isn't that fun? I already feel it though. Ready? Come across. Lateral lunge. Two rows. Stand. Two curls. Good, guys. You guys look great. Lateral lunge, chest is extended. Two rows, stand tall. You're using that inner thigh, those adductors, as you come on in. Go ahead, make sure, so if your weight's real light and this feels too light, do more rows at the bottom right here. You can do like three rows, four rows, to try and get the muscles worked and fatigued. I picked up a heavier set of weights, so I'm gonna stick with my two reps. We're gonna do one more after this. Then we're gonna go back to that quad move. Right here, last one. Don't worry, we're doing more of this, I promise. <laughs> and up, right here for two. Good, put the weights down. Grab, if you have a pad for your knees, something to support. Let's do 10 more of those little quad burners. So up, so tuck yourself under, squeeze, brace, arms. We're gonna come back. So I actually have, my toes are not tucked under. You can certainly do that, that makes it harder. I should make it harder, right? Challenging myself. So what I'm really trying to do is get my hamstrings kind of touching my calves but I'm doing that by coming back straight and not sitting back. So I'm still staying nice and straight. 
to my back. Let's do five more. Happy, happy. So how do you make this easier? You don't go as far. You can even be here. That's enough. Come all the way back if you can. Two more. Okay, nice and strong. Good, stand up tall. Cardio, first cardio. We're gonna come back to that. You're gonna give me a five minute. Every minute on the minute, we're going to do 20 squat to rear lunge. And we're gonna hold plank for the rest of that time. Let me grab my phone. I need a clock for this. So let me, this is what's gonna happen. At the top of every minute, we start the new cycle. Let's see here. So what it looks like right here, squat, let me do this, squat, reverse lunge, squat, reverse lunge. You can hop this out. Each one is one. We're going to count to 20 and then hold plank for the rest of the minute. Get right back up at the top of the minute and start it again five times through. All right, let's go. So come down low if we squat, reverse lunge, three, four, five, stay low, six, seven, eight, get that ooh, back knee down, halfway, 10, nine, eight. We're gonna do this five times. In between our break, three, two, one, come down, plank it out, 30 seconds right here. We start this and this will be our little every minute on the minute. So right here, high plank, we'll warm ourselves up into going down to a, a forearm plank. We'll play around with our planking here. Let's go, 15 seconds. Here we go. We're gonna hop up and do this again in 10. Pull those abs in, squeeze those quads. Good, five, four, three, two, hop it up. Let's do this again. One, two, three, stay low. Five, six, this doesn't have to include hopping. If you don't hop, that's fine. Good, halfway. Good, seven. Last five. Three. Last one. Blank it out, guys. Let's come down to our forearms here. 30 seconds. So if you need a break, guys, take it. Use this as the break. This is cardio. I want your heart rates elevated right here. Holding here, 25 seconds. Concentrating on your form. All 10 fingers are on the mat if you're on your forearms. Abs are in. Let's tight. 10. Good, four. You're gonna come up in three, two. Come on up, guys. Third set, right here. Go into it. One, two, our number is 20. And I want you low. Good guys, looking nice. 10, halfway. Good, last four, three, two, one. Come down, side plank for me. 35 seconds right here, up. You can come down onto a modified, or come all the way up, right here. Lift up that hip. You can lift up the top leg, whatever works for you. Holding that side plank, 20 seconds. Looking nice. Hang in there for 10. I know, the clock goes forever. Is this how you guys feel at the gym? <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Come on up, we're set. Now two more of these. One, two, join me, three. It was funny this morning when I was planning the workout, I was doing this in my pajamas, trying to figure out what's the right number. And at first I was like, 50. I'm like, no, not I've it five times. And now I'm thinking 20 is not enough. But I'm sticking to it. Next time we do 30. Come down, plank it out, other side. I guess we're all different too, right? 20 may be perfect, 10 may be more than enough. But I think adding this little plank work is gonna help us to stay engaged. Our heart rate will come down a little bit, but we'll be ready to work here. Grab one more set. 
starting in 10 seconds. Now can you give me length, give me contraction, don't just hold it. Three, two, last one, come on up. Right here, one. Now if I'm not hopping, I'm low with purpose, right? Really driving that back knee down. Halfway, 10. If you're bouncing, you're light. You think light on your feet. Last four. I can't count and breathe. Three, two, last one. Last set of planks here. On your, on your hands, tap out side to side. 30 seconds to go. Abs are pulled in on this. 15. Good, so you're just driving out with that angle. Hips are down, they're not piped up. I have a slight tuck in my hips. My upper back is rounded. I'm down in four, three, two. Come on up, guys. All right, we're gonna do it all again. Get some water, looking nice. Okay, so if you remember we started with the lateral lunge and row to bicep. We're gonna go right back into that. We're gonna do those quad burners and we're gonna go and do that every minute on the minute. I may switch our rep count for our second set of that. We'll see, I'm full of surprises. Okay, let's start on the other side now. Right here, lunge, two rows. Stand it up, bicep. Everything is two unless your weight is super light or super heavy. It's either, if it's too light, you do more. If it's too heavy, just one rep will do. Make each move individual. So both of those rows, both of those bicep curls, full extension, full contraction. Take your time through it, we're not in any rush. And up for two. Good right, guys, let's do it one more time on this side. Good, already dripping on my rug. It must be Wednesday at noon. Oh, I think after this whole thing, I'm getting a new rug. Come on down. When you're done, let's do 10 of our little quad burners. Get yourself set up. Remember, our goal is just 10. Our goal is 10 good ones, 10 full range of motion here. Arms out, tuck under. Let's do this, come back for 10. Think about lighting up all the fronts of those legs. Hamstrings will feel this too. Good. Inhale back, exhale up. Halfway, that's five. Good, last four. Looking good, guys. Three. I think my legs are in the sort of arm. I'm gonna go ahead and say that now. Last one. Good, come on up. Let's finish out this little sequence here with the lateral movement. Grab your weights. Okay, so standing up tall, shift over. Two rows. Stand up. Two curls. So funny, I drop weight for this one. Now I'm regretting it. I should have gone heavier. Come on up. You want that weight that's challenging, that you're kind of pushing yourself right to the point where your form starts to suffer just a little. That's kind of my sweet spot. Too light, I don't put as much thought into it. So I'm gonna make myself slow down the lighter weight and put myself through full range of motion. Do that if your weights are too light as well. Good, come on up, we're gonna do one more. Last one here. All right, we have one last set of those quad burners, okay? Told you we were gonna do a fair amount of them. Put your weights down. Come on down. And then we're gonna do another every minute on the minute, get our heart rate back. Get yourself set up. Find your support if you have it. Arms out, abs tight, glutes tight right here. Come back and come up, it's only 10. However you have to talk to yourself to get yourself through it, do it. 
Come on back. And all the way up, good. This is our halfway mark. We do five more. Inhale back. Exhale left. You guys feeling it? Happiness? Warmth and happiness in those muscles. This is for you. I think we got two more here. Good. Last one. Good. Come on up, guys. So now, when we do our every minute on the minute, humor me. I want to do more. Let's make it 30. 30 of those squats reverse lunges. And we're going to do the same progression of planking. So find yourself the room. Don't hop if you don't want to. Let's do 30 this time. I think that's a good one here. So, ready, go. Right here. So now this is the heart rate portion of the show. We want it to go high. Stay low. Keep going, guys. You're looking good. Keep it, keep it. I can't talk right now. Keep going, keep going. That's good. Keep going, 10. Sorry, guys, nine, eight. Distraction is not my friend, two. And one. Can you not to parent and teach? I don't have to do that at the club. What the heck? Come on down. Keep it going. 20 seconds. Really don't mount that upper back. Pull those belly buttons in. Squeeze your quads. I think 30 is good. I like 30. We still want to make sure we're making time for the plank. You're coming up in four. Three, two. Come on up, guys. Right here. 30, right here. So legs should be fired, if that's what we want. Go ahead, keep going. Nine, 10, third of the way. Staying light if you're hopping. 10 more, please. Good, guys. Good, four, three, two. This time we have a forearm plank. Come on down. Right here. All 10 fingers on the mat. Abs are tight, so I like to tuck my hips under slightly, lift my upper back, make my quads super tight. Let's do my clock. 20 seconds. Fifteen to go. Looking good, guys. So don't chintz on the plank or take the break. Do your two options. Back blanking just doesn't work. Third set starts. Come on up. Let's start it up. This is where it gets serious. Three, four. Half, or no, third of the way. Good. Now, 10. Five. Good, come on to your side plank. 30 seconds. Right here. Legs are feeling adequately worked. I hope yours are. I definitely am feeling the warmth. This is a good thing. Stay here, 15 more seconds. Really reach. Can you kind of picture it? someone has a hook and they're lifting your midsection? Can you lift, squeeze for that oblique? Four, five, four, three, two. We'll get two more sets. Come on up. 30. 30, 30, right here. Remember, we want the heart rate up. If you need to take a break from hopping, that's totally fine. Just move with purpose and drop that back knee down. 20 more. Oops. 10 more. Aren't you glad we went up to 30? I am. Three, two. Come on to your other side. Five plank for 30. 25 seconds, actually. Right here. Transition should be quick. Unless you need the break, guys. Take it. Get water. Come back and join me for our final set. Got 15 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. I am feeling it. I'm right there with you guys. Come on up for your last set in four, three, two. Last one, guys. This is not it. We have more torture. 
But right now, this is it for this set. Good, reaching the halfway point right here. We're gonna get back into that plank in four, three, two, come on down. Now high plank for me, or low plank, but tap it out. Leave with the angle, flex foot. You're here for 30 seconds. You'll get a break here. Almost there. How far out can you reach that foot without compromising your hip? Can you keep your hip bone facing down, really supporting you for eight? Four, good, two, and one. Sit back, guys, you're there. You get a minute. It's Christmas in May, and you get one full minute to recover. Let's move on. And this is where your step's gonna come in. And I'll show you different options here. If you don't have anything to work on that's elevated, mine is elevated about 18 to 20 inches for my back. Um, you can do this all on your back. On your back. You do not need elevation for a step. But if you have it, might as well, right? Make sure I can get this into my camera angle. Okay, so what we're doing is we're doing hip thrust. If you have some weights you want to add to your hip thrust for your glutes and hamstrings, grab them because you can nestle them into your hips. Even if you're just rocking a pair of eight pound weights, anything extra helps. So what we're gonna do, we show you a couple different options. On my step or on my bench, my bra strap is up, my hips are down, and I'm tucked. This is my starting position. I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna lift. Right here, drop and lift. I like to hold the backs of my head, or backs, the multiple backs of my head right here. I like to keep the spinal, curve, and I'm going to look at my belly button. That's my move. You don't have the bench. You're bridging right here, squeezing up. So you can do this two ways. Don't be turned off. Continue to hang out with me. So we're going to put these into our hips, kind of the little meaty part that's like right below the hip bones. That's where that goes. Bra strap on right here. So get yourself set up. Look at your belly button. Take a look. That's your goal to stay there. So you're tucked under, so you're already in a hip, a pelvic tilt right here. You're gonna lift and squeeze those glutes and lower down. So try and keep that like bra strap area on the bench. So my heels, hopefully they're aligned underneath my knees. That's kind of where I'm going. Get 90 degrees at the top of this. So really push those hips up and squeeze. Keep your gaze down. Awesome, keep going, lift. It takes us a while to set it up. We might as well get down here and max out the burn. Let's do 10 more. Inhale down, exhale with that lift and squeeze. Can you squeeze all the way to the smile of your seat, all the way? Six more. Almost there, you guys have five, but we're not gonna stop. We're going to hold it at the top for three, two, hold it up, right here, hold for ten, squeezing tight, nine, eight, keep breathing, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come down, Whew. release, stay by your bench, by your couch, or if you're on the ground, you're here in a tricep dip, okay? If you're shoulders or your elbows or wrists don't like tricep dips, you can do an overhead extension. I'm going to use my bench. My hands are going to be right aligned with my glutes. I'm going to lift my hips up a tiny bit. But I'm going to keep my butt close, to, close in right here. I'm not going to be here. This is my tricep dip. Come on back. So really point those elbows back, squeeze at the top. And up. Good. Down. How many should we do? Let's do 20 from here. First few are just to get yourself set up. You guys look really good. I see it. Great form. Good job of laying with those weights. I know, it's perfect. Let's do 10. 
Good, try not to collapse in your neck, in your trap area. Let's do five. Good, three, two. Nice, I love it. I didn't see any butts migrating away from the bench. We're gonna come down for abs. You're gonna grab a weight, doesn't matter. If you can use the weight that you had, or a little bit lighter, for in and out. So you're gonna come here with the weight. You're gonna curl in your shoelaces and come on out without letting the weight or the feet touch. So grab a weight that works best for you. This. Okay, when we're ready, 15 please. So curl in, touch those shoelaces, knees come into the chest, extend and let that head rest in between. When your legs go away from your body, to make sure your low back still stays glued down. Inhale back, exhale over. So you're gonna definitely can use a little momentum from the weight to get yourself up. But you really are just curling into a little ball, extending without letting those feet or the weight touch down. Let's do eight more. So exhale in, inhale back. Using good form, nice slow and control here. Good, last four. Inhale, three. Almost feels like a vacation down here. Last two. Last one. Good. Come on up here. Excellent. You're gonna grab, let me see. What do I have planned? You like this? I can't see. I can't see my own writing. 30 low jacks. So now we're gonna go back into that every minute on the minute. We got a five minute cardio with plank portion here. I'm just gonna make, give myself some room. 30 is the number for this. Let me get my phone. At the end, we're coming down for a new plank progression. Here's your move though. Your hands are gonna be behind your head. You're gonna come down low. You have 30 jacks. If you don't want to jump, you'll go side to side that way. We do 30, we come down for a plank, we start again. You have five of those. You ready? Right here. Keep the elbows out of your view, stay low and make sure your chest stays extended towards me right here. I'm still working on inventing my invisible counter so I don't have to talk and count and breathe. I'm gonna call this the halfway mark, 15 more. Good guys. Good, four, three, two, and one, come down, high plank. Lots of plank, lots of shoulder work today. About 20 seconds here. I didn't build in any proper shoulder work because I knew how much we were planking. But I guarantee, shoulders will be toast by the time we're done here. 10 seconds. Almost there. Four, three, two, come on up. Elbows out. Go faster now. Let's get this done. Spend more time down in plank. Stay low. Third of the way. Good guys. Okay, we got 10 more. Stay in it. Four, three, two, one. Come down. Low plank. Right here. 25 seconds. Woo. This is good. I'd like to go back and have a little discussion with the morning Angie that wrote the workout, but this will be good. We'll be glad when this is done. 10 seconds. Almost there for four, three, two, and one. Come up. Third set. This is one of those like, what's worse, the plank or the jack, right? Am I right? Keep going. Good. Okay, this is the halfway. Get lower, go faster. Five, four, three, two. Side plank it out with me. Let's go. It's almost like when you get tired, it's important to remind yourself while you're here what it is you want to accomplish. 
and recommit. Now we're kind of reaching that recommitment portion of the workout. Because we're not gonna give up. We're in this together. I love that you guys all have videos on today. It's so nice. I don't feel so alone. Eight seconds. Three, two, come on up. Third. So sorry, fourth set. Right here. Yeah, fourth set. Down for 30. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. This is halfway. Go lower. Go faster. Got some agility. Light on your feet for five, four, three, two, and one. Side plank. Uh, this one. What side was I on? Right here. Give one more set, guys. Really reach. Remember that hook is lifting your hips up towards the sky. You make it harder by stacking that or taking that top leg and extending it long away from the body. 10 seconds. Almost there, you got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Last time. 30, come on down guys, right here. Go ahead. Halfway. Seven, five, three, two. Last set of that plank. We did a side tap. Let's keep doing that right here. So hands underneath those shoulders go wide. I can do this. So I lose my camera. Good, you're almost done, guys. Get a break here. We'll do this all again. 10 seconds. Good, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Get water, guys. Catch your breath. We're gonna go back to the top, starting with our bench work, our hip thrusts, our triceps, and our in and outs. We'll do one more set of that, too. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Let's put a little water. Are you guys starting to see the dirty secret of all your instructors? We're so used to walking around, chatting, checking form. Suddenly we're doing the full workout and we're dead. I love it. All these people who are getting in better shape during the quarantine, that's me, for sure. Okay, so. The meaty part of your hips right here, the thigh, tops of thighs and hips. Bra strap on your bench. Nestle yourself in. So there's a real sweet spot with those heels. At the top of this, they're underneath the knees, guys. So hips are gonna tuck under to start. That pelvic tilt, you're gonna lift and lower. So you have the whole smile of your seat. It's lit up. The squeeze. So this is such a low impact way to get those glutes and they're fully worked. The top, the sides, the bottom. Inhale down, exhale with that lift up. Gaze at your belly button, guys. What happens when you go here, you put a lot of pressure on that spine. So if you're weighted especially, the spine isn't like that. You're forcing yourself into a much more stable position. Down and lift. So I give you five more, we're gonna do that 10 second fold. Take your time through it. Inhale and exhale. And it should take us a while to get through it. Putting this, this, these glutes under a lot of tension. Spend a ton here. Last one, hold it for 10 right here. Really squeeze. Good, make sure those knees are tracking over your middle toes. Weights in the heels, lift it up higher for four. Keep breathing, three, two, come on down. Go into those tricep dips. I feel like 25 was our number last time. Let's stick with it, okay? Hands underneath your glutes. Keep the butt pretty close. Point those elbows back. And 
so what happens, I see it all the time, and I know I do it with myself. As I do it, my butt starts to migrate away. So keep trying to, almost like you can feel the back of that bench. Do the whisper of it on the backs of the, on your backside here. Okay, let's do 15 from here. Let's burn it out. Almost there. Almost, right? Last five, please. Three, two, last one. So remember we did those in and outs on our backs. You wanna wait, but you can take overhead. I think that's too taxing here. I gotta drop down for this one. On your back, let's do 15. Curl up into your ball and extend away right here. Curl and look at your shoelaces and come all the way out. So when you come out, that low back's on the mat, feet and uh, weight do not touch. So you wanna have, you can make your angle so it doesn't hurt your low back. You can shoot those legs up or at 45 degrees. The lower to the ground they go, the harder this is. Let's do six more. There, you got four. Three. Two. Last one. Go ahead. Put your weights to the side. You don't need that bench anymore. One last time with that every minute on the minute. With those low jacks. Excellent timing here. With the low jacks and the plank work here. Let's see here. Um, yeah, let's do it. I think I'm gonna do a three minute every minute and I, cause I wanna do one more thing of work and I only have a little bit of time left. So hang in there with me. Three times through is what we're doing. Low squat or low jack and plank for 30. Let's go right here. One. So we're gonna do this just three times through. I'm sure you're wildly disappointed. I just have one more thing of work I wanna do. And you know me, I like to work the muscles. More than cardio, halfway, 15 more. Faster, lower for 10. Five, three, last one. Come on down. High plank for you, please. 30 seconds. So high plank. Angie, you don't even listen to the instructor. Right here. Keep going, 15 seconds. My least favorite song. All oh, right, 10 seconds. Three, two, come up guys. 30, come on here, elbows back, down low. One. Can you get those elbows out of your view? Extend through your chest. Halfway, faster, lower. Good. Last five. Now we're going to that forearm plank in two and one. All right here, 30, 28 seconds here. So in this position, upper back is domed, abs are tight and pulled in. Looking at your hands, 10 seconds. We'll do this one more time, guys. Three, two, last time, guys. Last little bit of cardio, or last little bit will be on the ground. Come here, ready, 30. I keep looking down and it makes my elbows come in. So keep looking at me, looking straight ahead. I saw someone like awkward, huh? Halfway, 15, go lower, go, go faster. Last six, four, two, and one. Good, give me that top high plank, foot step outs right here. Last little bit, 20 seconds. 
Good, last 10. Good, three, two, and one. Sit it back for a second, guys. So, if you want to keep, you have your bench around and it's available. I have one more kind of little block of work that we're going to do. What's going to happen, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Again, we're going to do a chest fly to a tricep, more triceps. And we're going to do with our feet elevated in a bridge. So you want to grab a weight that you can successfully do a chest fly with. And I'll show you what that looks like. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to elevate my feet, work through my heels, and lift up into a bridge. That's one option. So my upper body work will be a chest fly, knee up here, tricep, slow pressure right here. So the, the weight might be a little light on the triceps. I think it's actually pretty even for both moves. You should have the same, about the same weight ability, okay? Let's do this. Let's lift our feet up. So again, you can also just be in a regular bridge. Feet elevated is one variation. And let's do this by 12 to 15, okay? So we picked a weight here that makes sense. We can do a fair amount. And right here. So open like you're getting somebody a socially distant hug. Palms are gonna face in right here. You lead out with the elbows and the wrists, like the backs of the hands here on the chest fly. So again, don't let your bridge suffer. Your bridge is nice and tight. We're holding it in an isometric position right here. And tricep here, let's do six more. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend right here. So you're getting the chest and the shoulders, more shoulders without even doing much shoulder work, right? Last three. Good, nice and slow, glutes should be on fire. Last one. You're gonna lower the weights first, and then lower down all the way. Again, if you're on the ground, I have in and outs. If not, you come onto the bench. If you're on the ground, you're gonna come back. Hands are gonna be supporting you here. You're gonna extend those legs, heels lifted. You're gonna come in and out, right here. You can also do it on your bench, right here. I'm on the edge of my bench. I might lose my, there we go. In and out, exhale, inhale long. Exhale, make it harder, tap your heels and come out. If you don't need this low back support, and lift. Inhale long, exhale with it up. Good. Let's do eight. Inhale, seven. Good. We're gonna go back and do this one more time and we all finish. That puts me right at my time. But I promised you, the last two. But last one, I think next time I'll do that on the ground so I don't lose you. Okay, so set yourself back up. Aren't you glad? I'd rather do this than more of those jumping jacks, right? Get yourself set up. So we have the tricep, full pressure, we have the chest fly. So give yourself time to make sure your setup's nice. Your feet can be elevated on anything. It can be higher than where I have mine. It's even harder. Really squeeze though. Get yourself set up and then go in to that chest fly. Triceps. Chest fly. Okay, I'm gonna end here. We're gonna do a little tricep burnout. Okay, so stick with me here. It'll be worth it in the end. We're not going to just throw these weights away at the very end. We got to make sure we really get those triceps nice and hot. Let's do six more of these from here. Okay, on these type of exercises, especially if you're using two dumbbells, you're going to notice one side's a little stronger, one side feels more stable. That's totally normal. Can you squeeze your butt a little bit tighter, just in case you lost the, con the contraction? We got two more, and then 
And if you're gonna stay lifted right here, take the break if you need it. Now, press those weights together at the end of this skull crusher right here. Press it right here. Lower your hips down. Keep the feet elevated. You're gonna punch it up for 15. Let that elbow scrape your rib cage and then come all the way up. Squeeze. Uh, scrape and squeeze. Scrape and squeeze right here. Don't let the chest take over. Make this a tricep move. Elbows point straight in front of you. So if your elbows are tending to kind of go out a little bit, that'll be a chest. Keep it in the triceps for eight. Triceps should be on fire. Six. You're not done. Four. Oh, fun. I love right on. Three. Good. Two. Don't quit on me. Last one. Hold it up. Hold it up. Squeeze those triceps. Give me 10 bridges for 10. Let's end here. Nine. Squeeze your elbows. Triceps should be on fire. Seven. Six. Keep it up for five. Squeeze tighter. Four. Breathing. Three. Two. And one. Release. Woohoo! You guys are such rock stars. That was awesome. Hope you guys liked kind of the new format, something different. So it's fun to switch things up. You guys did awesome. On behalf of the Renaissance Club Sport and Formula 3 Fitness, thank you for coming to Cardio Sculpt. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.